Flipping houses, it has become a popular thing to do in this really kind of volatile housing industry and market that we're in because you can often get a really good property at a lower price and then fix it up to how you want it. But bidding on that property it can be pretty tough. So to help us with that, we have brought in a pro himself. You know this face, Doug Hopkins of Discovery Channel's hit show, Property Wars. Welcome. Thank I'm so sure. excited you're here. First, I just have to say, you are the, one of the nicest guys. <laughs> So easy going. You've just been so kind. A lot of our crew coming up talking to you. But on that show, boy, don't mess with your property. Well, I'm, I'm passionate. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm passionate. I'm not like that all the time. You know, just when I'm bidding on houses. You yes. Know, I'm, I'm very competitive. Oh, my goodness. And Scott, which is a rival of yours on the show. Yeah. But you and Scott have had some beef prior to this oh, show. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We've been fighting for years down there, <laughs> way, way before this show started. And it'll, it'll, we'll be fighting way after the show ends. After it ends. And how did this come about? About. Is this all just, are you just kind of blown away by the success of this show? You're recognized everywhere you go. Yeah, I, you know, I never in a million years had dreamed that this was going to happen. But, yes. you know, I'm, I'm just... I'm just a regular guy, you know, out making a business. We put something on YouTube, some executive from New York saw it and... Loved it. Yeah, loved and, it. And then a reality, you know, eight, we're going into a new season pretty soon. Yep. And for those of you who haven't seen it, we do have a clip from, uh, from the show. And tell us about so it. It's based owner. right here in Arizona. Correct. And, and tell us a little bit about this show for those who haven't seen it. Yeah, basically what we do is we go down to the courthouse steps and we buy houses. The, the big thing is we can't see the inside of these houses before we buy them. So the, the whole thing is about the reveal and going inside, whether we, you know, if we get a, a good one or a bad one, you know, the inside of the house, that's the whole story of the show. Right. And sometimes we get some really, really good ones and sometimes not so good. And there's a little <laughs> clock that comes up on the show. Now, that's the countdown to the auction. Yes. The and auction. so many of us will go into an auction not having a clue about how to do an auction. Yeah. What is your real estate background? Basically, I've been doing this since 1994, so I've been doing it 19 years. Anyone who's going to go out and try to buy a house uh, you know, at auction, there's a lot of pitfalls, there's a lot of concerns, a lot of risk. I would definitely recommend hiring somebody like me to go out and do that for you, mm -hmm. or at least uh, you know, do your homework, because there's a right. lot, a lot of pitfalls in this business. Right, and when you walk inside, I would have to imagine you've walked in, like you said, to some gold mines and then yep. some real dumps. What is, what is your tummy, does your tummy, is it, does it stay in knots the whole time? Oh, absolutely. I mean, when the, when the locksmith comes out and I get the key and I go in, I mean, my heart is beating out of my chest. Oh, my goodness. Uh, it is, it's just You can crazy. tell, you oh, can yeah. tell that on the show. You really do bring a lot of passion. You like to say passion, and oh, I, I have to agree with you. All right, so <laughs> what is a trusty sale? We hear you talk about that on the show. What is a trustee sale versus a private sale. Gotcha. Basically, a trustee sale is when a bank is foreclosing on uh, on a homeowner, and the difference is, you know, on a on a regular house, you know, the seller is selling the house. On this, on a foreclosure home, mm -hmm. the bank is selling the house. Okay, so that's the difference, and yes. that's where the expert would come in because I'm like, oh, well, I don't know the difference between the two. <laughs> All right, so we're going to give you guys some tips because a lot of you have gone to auctions. Maybe you're thinking about going to an option, uh, auction and you want to bid on a home. So Doug has agreed to give us some very useful tools, so jot these down, and we've put them on SonoranLiving.com as well. Let's start with, uh, you say, number one, visual is important. Yes, if the, you look at the exterior of the home. If the exterior of the home is in good condition, usually, and I say usually, the inside of the house will be in good condition. You know, there are exceptions, but if you go around and the plants are nicely watered and well kept and the, the landscaping is manicured, usually that inside of the house is going to be manicured and nice as well. And if you walk up and it looks like a, a nightmare pulling up, then there's oh, a very yeah. good chance that perhaps those homeowners didn't take care of it. That is correct. So well. Okay, the second a tip, you say get the roof checked. Yeah, well, you, you can't really get it checked, but you can visually inspect it. Okay. If the shingles, if there are shingles that are missing, if it looks like it's rolling up, if uh, the, the fascia boards are all rotting away, that's a bad sign that there might be some roof problems. That could be a huge, huge expense. Well, I have to ask, because in Arizona, there's a lot of uh, barrel tiles roofs and there's a lot of chipping on those especially in the corners is that just the way our you know our seasons are very hot should we expect some sort of you know chips in the in the roof yeah, or the concrete, none yeah on the concrete tile roofs I mean you can go up and you can see there's a lot of times there'll be a lot of them missing and that's a telltale sign as well so if they're missing yes okay but if they're cracked they're cra not necessarily not, a bad not thing. so much the cracked or, but the, the missing tiles are and also the age of the home if it's you know if it's a 30 year old home with a tile roof the the under the under cart like um, uh, the undermount of that okay. of that roof 
is, you know, that could start getting to his life expectancy, mm -hmm. so you might have to replace that. And as we go into monsoon season, that's kind of scary. Absolutely. And that can be a very big expense. If you have to replace the roof, how much are we talking? Yeah, upwards six thousand plus. Ugh. I mean, it can go up to six, twelve thousand dollars, depending on the size of the home okay. and the type of roof. So that's kind of scary for you. Yeah. Okay, number three, you say do your homework. Oh, absolutely. You got to know everything about it. I wouldn't go out. I, I would specialize in a specific area and know everything there is to know about that area. You know, just take a couple of subdivisions and know exactly what the price of the homes are, what, what uh, you know, the, the, the schools are, what, what everything that's gone in there and sold for in the last six months. Know everything there is to know about that neighborhood. And that includes the property, um, the property taxes as well. Absolutely. You know, know the property taxes, and if you buy it, know if there's any back property taxes because those. That red, the house. Is that a red flag for you? It's not a red flag. It just means that the, the property taxes haven't been paid yet, and they need to go in and pay those. Those go with the, with the house. So if you bid on a house, you're going to incur that, that fee then? That is correct. Okay, so that's very good advice. Make yes. sure you know that. So if it hasn't been paid for, you're going to get the bill for that yes. right after you bid. You say know your neighborhood. You kind of alluded to that just a minute ago. Yeah, know, know your neighborhood. Know everything there is to know about it. After that, you know, the mo next most important thing is a contract. You need a, you need a good contractor. And, and if you don't know one, have someone refer it to you. You can't just get a, any contractor out there because that can really cost you or, or save you thousands of dollars. A good contractor is vitally important. And right on the, on the piggyback of that, have a good realtor too. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, we're not all cut from the same cloth and, and there's some really good realtors out there and a really good realtor will, will save you money and save you. You can sell it, they can negotiate better. Um, good realtors are, are hard to find sometimes. I'm one of them, by the way. But uh. <laughs> I love it. Shameless plug. Insert yeah. here. I love that. I love that. Well, I will tell you what. You're you're really a nice guy. I know Thank you're you tough much. on there. You're passionate about what you do. Yep. Thanks for putting Arizona in the light like this. Oh, I love no it. Problem. A lot of My those show, a lot of those shows shot right here in the valley. So Absolutely. we appreciate that. And if you love the show as much as we do, the next new episode of Property Wars airs Thursday, July 18th on the Discovery Channel. We've put all that information as well as those tools when you go to bid on your home on sonoranliving.com.